Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. And this is the third take, because I've got the car wrong twice. Yeah. We have got a G400 with a soft kit coming up, continuing on from last week. Yeah! yeah. Nice. Right. I've got baby sick <laughs> on my jumper because I wore it yesterday and I forgot about it. I've got, I've, I've just found poo bags in my jeans as well. I mean, we're living it, we're living it today. Right, you could tell it's a Tuesday after a bank holiday. Yeah, bank holiday. We're all out of sync, but we've got this. What colour is that? Blue. Not, not Navar, Navar, Navara? Navara blue. Navara blue. Navara blue. That's lovely, isn't it? What colour is it going? Green. This sounds really meaty. Has it got an exhaust? Oh, what need, is this? We, we need to find out what he's done to that. What because is that, this? That's loud. That is loud. I haven't heard a new, I haven't heard a C8 sound like that before. No. Can we get some sound clips of this, guys? Right, let's go and have a look at this Defender. Defender, Defender. Right, so also continuing on from last week, we had a 110 Defender wide track build, wrap, mm. satin grey. Um, I just want to point that out as well. That's um, nearly complete now. So Bentley GT, beautiful spec. Um, if you're interested, give me a shout. Lenny at urban-automotive.co.uk, 01908-978-978. Part exchange available, finance available. It's a lovely thing. Ring me. Do you just want to cover this quickly? Done. Done. This, this, this is going to be seven minutes because we're on it. Boom. At what point are we going to go into an edit? Cam, when are we going into an edit? Last week was too long, weren't we? So should we go in now? This is nearly done. Yeah, so 110 wide track, satin grey. Matte metallic charcoal. Matte metallic charcoal. What is it? Tom, what's the colour of the RS6? Oh, right. we've, got the, we've got the roll in here. Yeah, cool. Let's have a look. Stay there. Stay there. Two minutes. We've been told by the rappers, two minutes. We're not allowed in at the moment. I do like that authority though, do you know what I mean? Just like, what, do, said, just stay there, we're he mouthed, busy. He mouthed the words to Lenny. Oh, can we come in now? Is that yeah. okay? Why was you holding us back there? Because if you open the door, it's <laughs> is, is this the green that the RS6 is going? No, it's in the uh, box there. Oh, look at this. Oh, that one. That's a big contrast. Are we doing shuts and returns on this? I was going to say, that would be a hell of a, a, hell of a shut, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's, what is it called? Urban Green, is it? Yeah. It is Urban yeah. Green. So this, that's like a... This a, is the one that that Eurus was the other week. That's what Ken wants his G400 to do. That's cool. Yeah, that's that is really cool. cool. And it's, it's, it's nice to see a colour like that in gloss rather than matte. They're usually yeah. matte, aren't they, this military look? That is going to look amazing. That, on that. is going to look really cool. Yeah, we're going to cover that off this week. Will that be done this week? How long does RS6 six shots and returns take? Oh, this week. <laughs> Not this week. week. Not this week. week. That'll be in next week's edit. A week in a day, when it's finished. A week in a day, yeah. yeah. Next week, coming next week, the RS6 will be finished. Right, so first things first, we've got a little bit of an update on the XRS. Now, old badge, out the window. We can't use that anymore. That's done. Right, so we've got the new carbon side vents, which will go nice and neatly in here over our side vents. So nice little addition, just making it a one-off for the XRS. We've got a new front grille, all, all carbon with red pin stripe in here, which will go on the front. We've got the bonnet going on this week. Now it's a 100% carbon fiber bonnet with four big louvers on it. So it's, it's really, really coming together now. I reckon we're about 85, 90% there. We've got inside 
We've got the seat backs on and we've designed these nice little intricate switches going on the back of the seat backs, which basically house the original switches. Mike's just getting it all to fit nice and snug there. You can see the XRS logo on the back. We've got the new seat badges on the front. All of the, all of the leather will be put back on then. We've got red aluminium bolts holding the door cards on and all of the central part of the dashboard. Complementary to the lovely red stitch on here. It's, it's literally, I'm so excited about this. It's really, really coming together. So in 10 to 14 days, I think that we're gonna have a, a fully finished built 90 and built 110. Correct, Mike? He's looked at me funny again. He always looks at me funny. I always... It's not long until I'm on holiday, so you know. Ah, he's gonna... You know, holiday authorizations only go through when we've finished, finished the car. But he's got a Cullinan to build in between this, so there's actually quite a lot going on. We've got two launches. We don't... Which one are we gonna launch first, Tom? Cullinan or XRS? All oh, right, okay. We're gonna launch whatever one's finished first. I think it's more... What one's going to be first? XRS. XRS first. Probably be the colour now, but we'll see, hey. Um, yeah, so everything's pretty much there or thereabouts. Um, exciting times. First special edition coming soon. Oh, I just need to go and find Cy. I don't know where he's been hiding. I ain't seen him all day so let's see if he's down in the workshop simon so i can usually sort myself out when it comes to new vehicle sales but sometimes i also need to ask him a few bits as well so see where he is he's not in the detailing bay is he simon there's, there's literally no one here look there's no one here who's hiding from me it's literally like everyone's been invited to a meeting apart from me. Simon! I can't find him anywhere down here, so he must be back up in the office. Dan, you're right, geez. You see Si anywhere? I've walked around the old place. Nah. Oh, all right. I'll, yeah, all right. I'll try the office again. All right, mate. A bit right, mate. Oh, he's here. He's probably been here the whole time. We've probably missed each other on the way down the stairs. Simon. Sorry. Um, got a customer wanting a black or black or us. What are we saying? What's the lead time at the moment? Sorry. Crack on, give it five minutes. you may remember this car from last week it was in the wash bay getting prepped it's finally finished it's another really big spec defender leaving us um, it already had the design pack the urban design pack so roof light bar rear spoiler um, standard wider arches 22 inch wheels uh, all the color coding side steps but the customer has brought this back um, to have some further additions. And we have been finding that. People have taken their cars away and the more products that we bring out, they're coming back to have them added. So this has had the vented bonnet. It's got the uh, Best of British top and side vents, which look aggressive with the bonnet. Um, it's got the new wide track arches, the aero blades on the front, but the biggest change is the color. It's got this beautiful matte metallic charcoal wrap which I think works so well with all the gloss black. So yeah, lovely, lovely thing. Um, all these parts are available separately, so you don't have to go for the full, um, full conversion if you just wanted uh, top and side vents, if you just wanted the wheels, if you just wanted the side steps, get in touch.
So yeah, I rung Brett, the used car manager at our preview showroom, to let him know that I was gonna come over. And I suggested that I do like a, um, a used car of the week, Lenny's used car of the week. He didn't sound too keen, it sounded like a, uh, sounded too much like a manager's special. But I thought it was a good idea, so get in the comments and see whether you want me to um, come over to the old Stratford showroom and pick my favourite car over there every week. So here we are at the Urban Approved You showroom. Got some nice bits in here today, but this is what we've come to see. Look how cool that is. So it's obviously an Audi R8 V10 Spider, but this one's been modified, lowered by a local company called Deutsch Tech, um, 20 inch HF5s on the front, 21 inch HF5s on the back. Um, looks like it's had some gloss black bits done as well. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure they're usually like a silver gray color, so it looks like that's been done in black. These have been done in black, the fuel cap, but also this has had the interior re-trimmed as well, which looks fantastic. So ebony leather with yellow, like honeycomb stitch, which, look, which looks OEM, um, steering wheel done in Alcantara and the gear shift as well. So um, I think that was done by a local company called Dave the Trimmer. But yeah, what a stunning thing. Let's have a little look around the showroom and see what else we've got. So this is James, he's... Um, What's your official title? Assistant to the manager or assistant manager? Uh, general dog's body. <laughs> um, and when I when I spoke to Brett about coming over and doing some some bits, I suggested that we do like a like Lenny's used car of the week. But he said it sounded a little bit too much like the manager special. So I wanted to get your take on it. Manager special. Hundred percent. Hundred percent manager special. <laughs> I, was just, I was just talking. About, I just came over here to see the R8. Obviously, I got a call and said, and you know, you said that the um, the R8 is here. It looks awesome. Yeah. And yeah. um, special car, yeah, really nice, isn't it? Yeah. So, I, I assume, um, the couple I mean, the customer's good friends with um, the boys at Deutsch Tech, so Deutsch Tech would have lowered it, absolutely. So, um, it, Deutsch Tech had done suspension work on it, it's obviously got the Boston and HF5s, on yeah. It. Um, uh, it's had some interior, some bespoke interior by through. Dave the Trimmer. Dave the Trimmer so, yeah. not local companies, local customer coming back to us yeah. for another new car and, and part X in that, and that's. That's the relationships that we're trying to build up. Yeah, yeah. And local people, um, obviously our, our footprint is spread wide across yeah, yeah. the country, but... Um, but this is a repeat customer that just keeps going back. Yeah, yeah which yeah, is which exactly. is the key, isn't it? Four or five of us now yeah. in the last probably 12 months. Yeah, nice. So yeah, it is, it is key. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, that 90 looks quite aggressive. Yeah, um, that's quite a unique car to be fair. It's got one offset of 20 inch um, WX. Which wheels. look fantastic. Yeah, so it's yeah, Gondwana yeah. stone, which is a yeah. beautiful color anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is a lot more rugged, isn't it? Like the 20 inch alloys, you don't see that much on the Defender, do no, you? No, well this was the first car actually that had, or first car that we had here that had the wide track arches on it. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. we sort of trialed the 20 inch wheels with a, with a more aggressive tire. Yeah. Um, and then fitted everything, so it's got Explorer pack on it, it's got the best of British. It's got that lever as well, what colour is yeah. that lever? That's the, like the um, sort of car You're key. You're going to frame me right under the bus here. <laughs> Product <laughs> knowledge, <laughs> Product <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> I don't know either. We'll say car key. Car key, yeah. But it matches yeah, perfectly, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. But what, what's nice about this is that there's no aero blades on the front because right. the aero blades are a little bit more street, aren't they? Whereas right. this is more rugged, fun. all terrain. Yeah, it looks awesome, doesn't it? So I'm sure that won't hang around long. This has been a run quite popular colour for us as well, we've had a couple of 110s well, It looks here, great, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and outside in the sun, it just explodes. So, oh, awesome. Um, it's a big spec car as well, so. Anything else, like, special on the horizon? Anything else we've got um, coming in, or? We've got, so obviously, Carpathian Edition V8. Yeah. We've got um, a couple of V8s now that, that are built and ready to uh, ready to go. Nice. Um, we're just looking at stock profiling at the moment, mm -hmm. between Brett and myself, with regards to um, having a bit more of sort of an exotic, high-end luxury. Yeah. Um, uh, so if someone's coming out of a supercar or like yeah. a luxury car, yeah. give, us a, give us a shout. We'll Absolutely. bid on it. We've got we'll this beautiful showroom. Yeah, exactly that. Um, put it in the window. You know, yeah. shallow return program. That's, yeah. that's historically been quite successful yeah. for us. Okay, good. So that gives us the option of um, being able to commission sale a vehicle for a customer. But we've had all sorts, haven't we? Rolls Royce Dawn, 812s, yeah. we had two 812s, SLR, 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 SLR yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, GT3 RS. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we've, we've had some bits. We've had some nice bits. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and, you know, 
got a bit of background with that stuff. So yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's your ex Porsche. It's Porsche, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Porsche. 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 I said, I even said you were oh, no, oh, no, the next one. Oh, I know you did. Oh, okay, look, I'll know for next time. No, thanks for, um, yeah, thanks for taking time out. I know you're double busy. So, yeah, there's the yellow R8. Nice one, Geese. Nice one, See you shortly. Yeah, cheers, brother. Seem to have a um, an airfix kit just turned up. So this is basically how it all starts. This is the first finished Cullinan kit with full visual carbon. So here we have. Look, look how beautiful this rear wing is. It's got all of the weave in the right direction. This is obviously ready for its first soft fit before it goes to the body shop. This is how carbon should be, isn't it? <laughs> Look how happy he is. So happy this is with like new rocking, toys. This is real rocking out because this is this is this, is, this gets me excited. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's the it's the product of what nearly a year, nearly a One year. year. Yeah. One year, lots and lots of investment, lots of money. Look at Mike, look, Mike, Mike looks so, Mike looks, he looks so Can you be careful with that please, mate? So that's the first finished Cullinan kit. <laughs> he's obviously, he's, he's, magic he's, spent, Mike. he's spent the last four weeks with me, nee, 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 in his ear, in his ear, in his ear, and he's done it, he's done a fantastic job, don't tell him that. But it's all ready, we're, we're literally, we are good to go, we're launching in the next couple of weeks. This is gonna put me on the map. I said that to Apparently, you. I said yeah, that to you the other day. No, no, I, I think this is. Well, this is. This is the big boy, isn't it? This is the flagship. I want to break free. I can't. Showing your that. age there. Showing you. You need to bring out some like kind of like we need to. We need to start recognising some like drill artists or something like that. What is drill? Never is that mind. Drake? No, never, no, never mind. Never mind. Um, yeah. So this is exciting. This is exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing the. Um, yeah. So look, we've got we've got wheel arches. We've got side seals. Like even things like this, look, this little exposed detail that's gonna go. Is that side skirt? It's gonna go in the side skirt. It's like, like fast. It makes it look fast. Got these little things that extend the arches, but it's all done to perfection now. These are all millimeter perfect. So watch your space. It's coming soon. So while we're on the subject of first parts and R&D, XRS visual vents. We can't with this really, really cool idea that... I can't... I can't what, yeah, be I, careful because it's got sharp bits on it. I, I, I like a bonnet vent because it takes me, but that's like a, a bigger version of the um, 4x4 Sapphire Cosworth vent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, in head. Yeah. <laughs> so just here, driver's side. Stand over there, you're getting in the car. What? Right, give me that back. Right, you're right. right. You're getting in the car. Car's here, yeah? Well, There's the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. The number of... No, 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 no. Stand over there. Your, your driver's seat's here, and you're getting in the car there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And you're looking at the bonnet, yeah? There's yes. your bonnet. Yeah? Right, there's my bonnet, yeah. 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 And the number of the car is being etched in there. That's awesome. So every car will have its own individual number. See, that's what I really like about this project, because like, it's you, unique. you can be like, I've got number 23, or yeah. I've got number 44, I've got number, it's not just one of 65, it's I've got a specific number. A specific number, number. Yeah. so we're building number one first, which is going to be V8 Herb, and we're building number seven for one of our longest standing customers. Uh, he's having a one, so 90 built as number one, yeah. and a 110 built as number seven. Perfect. So, follow me. Got the highest spec 110 hardtop we have probably ever built. Actually, no, this is definitely the highest spec because it was a high spec anyway when it left me a few months ago. 
the customer has what come... What did it have? Design pack? Just design left? pack with yeah. the all-terrain pack. So um, side box, side ladder and roof rack. Customer has come back and look, he's obviously an urban fan because he's got his own yeah, urban plate, which plate. is cool. Um, so, so it's come back. So what back. did this have then when it come back in? Um, Scoops carbon bonnet. Yeah. Uh, best of British top and side vents, square DRLs, yeah. aero blades. So the whole front end has had and a... And a wide track as well. And a wide track. So the whole yeah. front end and sides have had a complete makeover. Um, this is technically a van. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a 110 N1 commercial vehicle. It's when you like, look at it, it right, <laughs> get in the comments now. Tell me, is there any van that's better on the road? Is this the best van you can buy? I mean... The really nice thing, and I've said it before, I'm sure, the really nice thing about the Land Rover product as a commercial vehicle is you've got the Discovery 5 commercial, which is a lot like a Range Rover. It's, it's a little bit more, more refined. Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. that. Whereas this is really rugged, and this particular customer has sent me pictures of it being used. I mean, he, he pulls like a massive trailer. Yeah. It goes on sites, you know, and look, you can see in, tire, in the tire, there's mud ingrained yeah. into the tire, so it gets used. But he obviously loves it because he's um, you know, done all these extra bits of it, but it just looks so mean, doesn't it? When you consider this as a car, this for me is the best overall car on the road because the D300 engine is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You can use it. You don't really care too much about it getting a little bit no. dirty. It's not so refined. Mm. It drives great. It's got pull. It's got torque. It's fantastic. And it looks runner. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So there's my statement to say that it is the best van you can buy, get in the comments and tell me whether you think it's not. Or and it it, interestingly, you brought up the D300 engine because I'm yeah. having so many conversations nowadays, probably one or two a day, about hybrid versus diesel. Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, and stop the stop oil people like messing up the whole country yeah, at the moment, <laughs> will yeah, we'll have a pop at me. But the diesel is still king in these cars. 300 yeah. brake horsepower diesel, the torque, the power. And I don't even know what, a, does a hybrid pull a, a trailer? If the P400 okay. Fev Vogue was anything to go by, once that 25 miles of charge had gone, you're relying on a two litre petrol engine in a two and a half ton vehicle, which yeah. is no good. Yeah. Diesel is still king for me in these. Yeah, yeah. So just going through final prep, literally just having the arches polished, just making sure it's absolutely perfect when the customer comes to collect it. But there you have it. The best hardtop in the world. Right, so following on from last week, the G-Wagon G400 is now done. Customer's on its way, so we've got to get this in and get it covered up, ready for the reveal. Everyone knows how much I love a before and after, and we've got an edit for you now that shows you exactly what we've done. So mate, I um, you were supposed to be just having a set of wheels, and I talked you into this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to see the look on your face. Yeah, I'm buzzing. I can't let's wait. see. Let's see it. What do you reckon? <laughs> nice. Right. So we got this is all changed. Like the front end was all changed. Remember it had the little skinny yeah. bumper on there. Yeah, so we changed that to G63, so we painted all of this to match the car, yeah? Got your front splitter on there with daytime running lights in the bottom. You've got your ball nose bonnet on the top and the lights. All of the badges have been taken off, so all of the chrome's disappeared, so everything black grill, all done. I can't believe it, you're saying <laughs> it. I can't actually believe it, it's so <laughs> sick. Oh, mate. 23 inch wheels and orange calipers. 
looks unreal. Last minute orange calipers. Last minute. I had a little yeah. moan about you in the video sorry, earlier. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mate, Everyone I'm... walks in, right, and they're like, oh yeah, can you just do one more thing for me? Sorry, can you no, do the calipers? It's always sorry. the worst job that everyone leaves till the last minute. Mate, I can't thank you enough. Honestly, I didn't think it would look this good. This is, I didn't really know what I was getting done. I just said, <laughs> Simon, just, just do, do it. Do it. <laughs> like, this is sick. I'm now deciding whether to get it wrapped or not. I can't decide. What colour are you going to go? You're going to go I'm green? Khaki green, yeah, yeah. but thank you, mate. I really appreciate it. That's all good. That's this all is all good. so sick. <laughs> it's awesome, doesn't it? Oh, mate, I love it. Just, you just transformed the car yeah, completely. 100%. When I got it, everyone was laughing at me, saying, take the, take the little wheels off, take the little wheels off all the time. Because I, I don't really know about stuff like this that much. I'm not that knowledgeable. But on a visual, whether you know about cars or not, it's just on a visual, it's a completely oh, different car. Oh, mate, it, it looks it, like it, completely, completely, completely different, car. different car. Honestly, it's so sick, I can't think oh, it's enough. So for the guys that don't know, um, Kem owns a, a restaurant in Essex called Array with his business partner, Nadir, yeah? Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so because we've done a, such a good job, we're booked in for a little, um, a little nosh for it. Anytime, mate, honestly. <laughs> but what you're thinking of doing is wrapping it like a khaki green, the same as Nadir, so yeah, you've got he's, like... He's got a Urus and he's got it khaki green, like a satin green there. I was going through the colours and I just thought, you know what, we might as well just get a match. Like twinning outside. Form. I love it. I yeah. thought we always <laughs> parked out there together anyway. Yeah, I thought nice. I might as well get it matching so but mate i'm gonna drive it like this for a bit because i'm so excited about just it. enjoy it like this for a yeah, while and then man. get it green afterwards it's, honestly it's so nice i can't wait to drive and show my friends man <laughs> thank you guys Perfect. so that's it guys hand over for kem and we'll see you next week